Well, Steve, a big change because the fog is missing. And there's a moon up there and that we really haven't seen pretty. for a yeah, couple of nights. Nice. Well, that's going to be for tonight. Tomorrow, maybe, but the fog will come back. But what a difference 24 hours makes. We'll look at the changes in a minute. But from our uh, Casey Key webcam, what a great place to be today. Uh, front did come through. You could hardly see anything associated with it. Uh, other than the cooler temperatures, but uh, tonight uh, the lack of fog is the evidence that it came through. And currently at the airport, 62 degrees. The dew point down from the 60s to 54. That will allow our temperatures to cool off into the mid 50s overnight tonight, cooler than we've been for a while. Now we have had uh, a high temperature today of 75 because of the front. It's going to bounce back up to about 80, 81 tomorrow. Last night's low 68. That is very mild, almost 10 degrees, well, over 10 degrees warmer than normal, but the fog will not be back because of a uh, north easterly wind blowing a 5 to 10 miles an hour and of course the lower humidity. So there's just no moisture around to allow the fog to form. And on radar, there's not enough moisture to produce any showers. Uh, there were some that moved down to the Florida Strait, but uh, they're not going to be around for us for a few more days. There is that front now heading toward Cuba. There's another weak front on its heels, but in place, pretty much dry conditions for us. A major winter type storm moving into California, and they're loving this one right after the other coming in, easing the drought that's been going on for years there. And as this storm moves eastward, it's going to cause all kinds of problems with snow and freezing rain and and storms right through the Midwest. And Haley will tell you a little bit more about that in a few minutes. But up in the Northeast, it's the lake effect snow that's the major problem in upstate New York and uh, parts of uh, Pennsylvania and uh, northern Ohio as that dry, cold air blows over the moist, warm air of the Great Lakes and dumps snow in the same place hour after hour after hour. The next problem is you think it's cold now up there. Wait till the real polar vortex invasion gets here on Sunday and Monday. You can see those temperatures spreading southward and by Sunday morning, 23 below zero Minneapolis, St. Paul near a record for them. Madison, Wisconsin, 14 and then the air blows further south for Monday morning. This model shows uh, Chicago at minus six, but that's because the Lake Michigan will insulate them from the coldest effects. But some of the models have the suburbs of Chicago as cold as 20 below zero coming in on Monday morning. <laughs> Here in Florida, this is why we love spending this time of year in the Sunshine State because we have temperatures in the 70s to low 80s and that's not going to change right on for the next several days. You can see pretty much fair skies right on through the weekend except a gradual return of the overnight fog. We'll have east winds 10 knots on the water tomorrow, seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters will have a moderate chop. Now the beaches are going to be great. The water temperature 71 and with that sunshine, it's going to warm up to 79 tomorrow afternoon with sunny and mild conditions. The UV index 4. Here's my forecast for tonight. Fog is gone. The moon is up there, shining brightly over the sunshine state. Partly cloudy skies at most pretty much clear with a low of 56 on average and those east northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. You can see that's pretty close to normal for this time of year. Tomorrow mostly sunny and warm with a high temperature of 81 with those north northeast winds continuing 5 to 10. And then over the next several days, we will see a gradual increase in moisture as the southerly winds bring up moisture from the south and we'll have fog returning overnight. A weak cold front coming in from the north will come and park over us early part of the week, increasing our chance of rain to 30, 20 percent chance on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. All in all, not a bad weekend, Haley. Definitely not. Thank you, Steve.